calculator after. So the standard atmospheric pressure is actual 101.325 kilo pascal, right? It's not Newton per meter, okay? It means kilo newtons, but we don't have kilo newtons per meter, we have just the pascal. So that's why we call it like that. Okay, so then you can also find, this is your homework, find the fifth property and the sixth property. So find the sixth property, the fifth property of immiscible liquids, and the, the sixth property, the sixth property of immiscible liquids. Even you're allowed to go even to the seventh. Look, find by using different textbooks and different sources and even online materials that can assist you to, 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 to get it in uh, what I've, just what I, I've tried to tell you. Okay. Again, uh, we have now, the issue is this. We can form, up to this moment, you know how to form immiscible liquid. But that's not the case. That is not enough for the chemists. A chemist has to know how to form immiscible liquids and also has to know how to separate, right? So after learning about properties of immiscible liquids, now we have to learn different methods or even just to touch uh, about different methods to mean that uh, separating, separating, separating immiscible Immiscible, immiscible liquids. Immiscible liquids. So I would like just to say that there are different ways, different fundamental and advanced ways, or different methods. There are different methods that are used in, that can be used in to separate immiscible immiscible liquid that are so let us see those few ways that allow also to We mentioned in theory, but you can go further. The first method we can, we can use by using separating, separating family. Then the second method we can also separate immiscible liquids by using the drying, drying agent such as consecrated sulfuric acid. Against the third method, we can use that, we can separate by using, by using, we can separate miscible liquids by using steam distillation. Steam distillation. So these are the three fundamental methods that actually we can use on separating immiscible liquids and getting the pure solvent. The first one is called the separating funnel. You can find the funnel in a school lab or in a home lab if you have a, home, a chemistry home lab and then you can separate immiscible liquids between kerosene and the water, or between water and the both organic solvent. And the second one, by using drying agent, drying agent, and this drying agent is called the sulfuric acid. 
right? Steam distillations, okay, that's the third one. Example, con concentrated in sulfuric acid. Okay, so if that the case now, let us go further. In this, according to the syllabus, in this module, or in this subject, we'll be learning, we'll be learning the third method by using steam distillations. And even we have to, it means you have to see, it means you have to learn. If you're in school lab, you can ask it, the technicians to set an experiment for you. Because according to the syllabus, you have to go to the school lab and ask me a setting for the steam distillations so you will understand how this method is working, right? But for the purpose of theoretical concepts of theoretical approach, uh, we are going, I'm going to teach you how can we separate immiscible liquids by using steam distillation. And then in the next lecture, that will be lecture two of immiscible liquids, I will be teaching you how to calculate molar mass of high boiling point uh, solvent of immiscible liquids. Or in other books we used to call it, how can we calculate molar mass of organic solvents that are one or that are content or a component of 14 of immiscible liquids. So now, so let us go to the interesting subtopic which is called the steam distillation. Say with me. Say steam distillation. If you pronounce it, it will be it will be kept in your permanent memory. Steam distillation. Steam distillation. Say it again. At least it's three times for that. Steam distillation. Steam distillation. Your mind is writing this technology, so it won't be a new one like a, at this moment when I'm introducing to it. So again, so the first question we have to answer. I think that this is question number four, if I'm not mistaken. What is the meaning? What is steam distillation? What is the meaning of steam distillation? What does it mean? Can, you can find different definitions, but I found one of them, so which actually that I want to share with you. You see that steam distillation is a method, right? Is a method, steam distillation is the method of separating, is a method of, the method of separating uh, the immiscible liquid. This is the method of separating the immiscible, immiscible liquid. Okay, whereby the miscible miscible liquid the miscible mixture not liquid miscible mixture okay miscible miscible mixture is heated is heated is heated to the boiling Boiling point, right? Boiling point, or the boiling causing the boiling point where the mixture is heated. The boiling causing the distillation, sorry, the boiling causing the distillation. of both water and the water and the volatile volatile organic salt organic salt this is the one of definitions of uh, steam distillation So we say that steam distillation, the method, the one of the method in chemistry, 
we use for separating the miscible liquids, whereby the miscible mixture is heated to the boiling, causing the distillation of both water and the volatile organic solvent. Right? So that's the definition of what of the steam distillation. It's the method of separating the miscible liquids, whereby miscible mixture is heated into the boiling, causing the distillations of both water and volatile organic solvent. I'll be mentioning the properties of these miscible liquids, because there are some uh, other we, we call them, it's not properties, actually that the conditions, we call them condition for steam distillation. One of the conditions of the steam distillation, we say that uh, steam distillation is effective if the miscible liquids, one of the components of miscible liquids is water, and the other one is organic solvent. And this organic solvent should be volatile. That's why we say that in this method, we heat the compound which is required to be what is steamed. How are we going to heat? We are going to heat by using the steam. That's why we call it a steam distillation. Okay? So when you heat by using the steam, what's going to happen? Remember that these organic compounds actually will have, uh, first of all, it will be less denser liquids. And secondly, its boiling point should be less than, that the condition for the steam distillation, should be less than the boiling point of water. Of water. So if we pass the steam into the immiscible solutions, what's going to happen? It means that the steam is going to heat both components of immiscible liquids, water and organic solvents, right? But because the boiling point of water is high rather than organic,